Don't forget those ear scratches, human. Number 19. Restraining Cats and Dogs Dogs love to chase cats so much that the two species are seen as being mortal enemies. But in reality, the reason for this seemingly antagonistic behavior is more complicated. It stems from the fact that dogs are inquisitive creatures who are very forward when they come across other critters. The cautious cat, meanwhile, sees this boldness as a threat and flees. The canine's instinct to pursue rapidly moving objects honed through millennia of chasing prey kicks in, and so a chase ensues. And it is not just felines who face a race. Balls and cars are fair game too. Number 18. The Reason Puppers Pant in Hot Weather When summer arrives and the weather gets warmer, it is not unusual to see your dog with its tongue hanging out, panting in the sun. Canines have a coat, so it's no surprise that they get hotter than humans do. But unlike us largely furless apes, dogs do not have the ability to perspire through the skin. Instead, puppers sweat through the soles of their paws, and panting helps regulate their body temperature. Fluids help too, so remember to give your furry friend plenty of water in hot weather. Number 17. Why does my mutt mirror my yawn? Yawns are contagious movements amongst us humans. Just thinking about yawning makes you want to have one too, and seeing a friend or loved one in the act often elicits a mirrored response. Some animals catch yawns too, chimpanzees for one, and also man's best friend. It has even been postulated by British dog listener Stan Rawlinson that mirrored yawning is actually proof of higher emotions in hounds. In April 2016, he told UK tabloid The Metro, if dogs yawn, we yawn. They have empathy with us. Number 16. Can we really rely on the comfort of canines? Another reason people believe dogs are capable of empathy is because they are often seen to approach upset humans. A study published by the University of London in May 2012 revealed that canines responded to crying humans. In tests, the animals were observed displaying passive and seemingly comforting behavior towards weeping human subjects, rather than those talking or humming to themselves. However, it is important to note that it has not been scientifically proved that puppers are empathetic with us. Nevertheless, Jennifer Mayer, a university researcher who took part in the exercise, said she found their actions suggestive of empathetic-like, comfort-offering behavior. Number 15. Why do Bow Wows love belly rubs? You know your pet pooch is thoroughly enjoying your affections when they roll over and present their undercarriage for belly rubs. However, although doggos derive great joy from the physical sensation, there is more to their reaction than meets the eye. To be more specific, a canine's stomach is a vulnerable area, and exposing it in this fashion underlines your pet's trust in you. Furthermore, it is a as frenetic random activity periods and reassures pet owners that it is perfectly normal behavior. As the scientific terminology suggests, it is just your dog releasing pent-up energy. If you can work out what triggers the zoomies in your pupper, you can use it when outside for walks. This way, the cur in question can get it out of their system, wear themselves out in the process, and thus spare your living space. Number 13. Why do pooches constantly pee on things? Have you ever noticed your dog lift their leg in the exact same spot when they were out on a regular walk? Well, the waterworks are not necessarily due to an overwhelming urge to pee. Canines are territorial critters, and both genders carry individual scents in their urine. Consequently, they spray small amounts to mark their territory and to let other mutts know who is top dog in that area. On the other hand, if you think your pupper is peeing more than usual, the advice is to look into the exact reason why it could be a symptom of anxiety in your pet. Number 12. You can't lick doggy kisses. Did you ever notice that your face is one of the first places an affectionate doggo will take a lick at? Doggy kisses serve different purposes, depending on the mutt's mood. But nevertheless, they are a very important form of communication. One of the first sensations a puppy feels is its mother's tongue. Therefore, throughout their lives, dogs use face licks to strengthen emotional bonds. The loving act marks you as part of their pack, 
as well as providing a lot of personal information about you to the animal's heightened senses. Number 11. Why your dog has the jump on you. Excitable dogs love to jump up to greet you, assuming that they have not been trained out of habit. Leaping up like that is a show of happiness in your hound, and it comes as a consequence of being closer to the ground than you. Face sniffing is a canine greeting, so all they are trying to do is say hello to their taller human friend. However, not everyone appreciates such boisterous shows of enthusiasm, especially around smaller children. So if you want to avoid your dog jumping up, make a fuss of them only when their paws are on the ground. Number 10. Why do growlers go for grass? You feed your four-legged friend well, so why the hell do they make like a cow and eat grass in the yard? First and foremost, eating non-food items is a common practice amongst canines. In moderation, this is not usually thought of as a problem in a mutt, and some observers speculate that it aids the animal's digestion. Ultimately, however, no one is sure why dogs gulp down grass. They could be bored, looking to fill a gap in their nutritional intake, or it might just be that they like it. Regardless, a dog owner is advised to ensure their yard is not host to poisonous plants before they let their fur buddy out of the door. Number 9. What's with the puppy dog eyes? Unlike something as obvious as tail wagging, dog